braces. They aren't designed to be torture devices, but they still make it feel like the Middle Ages never ended. How do braces even work, though? Before we begin, we know that there are a couple different types of orthodontics out there, like retainers or Invisalign, but right now we are focused on the stuff that gives you the nickname Metal Mouth. You know, the classic shiny metallic brand of braces that have come to haunt the lives of teens and sometimes adults. Essentially, braces work by applying continuous pressure over a period of time to slowly move teeth in a specific direction. Your orthodontist calls this process remodeling. Just like you remodel an outdated kitchen or a rusty old Mustang, remodeling is the process of sprucing up your gnashers so that they can be enjoyed to their fullest potential. But, but, but what if I don't think having straight teeth is really that important? First of all, how dare you? Secondly, straightening your teeth is more than just looking cute in photos. When your teeth are straighter, your gums are healthier, you have less jaw pain, and you reduce the chances of dealing with serious health conditions like heart disease, strokes, and diabetes. So, braces are a necessary evil for many people. But while the mechanics look simple, it's actually kind of nuts how each little bit plays their own important role. Let's start with brackets, which are like the stars of this whole braces production since they are the most eye-catching. Yeah, hate to break it to you, but even if you get the tooth colored kind, they're still pretty noticeable. In some more old school braces, there are also orthodontic bands that wrap around the entire tooth, but brackets are much more common nowadays. These small squares are attached directly to the front of each tooth with a special dental bonding agent so that they can hold everything in place. When you zoom in closer, you can see that these brackets will have teeny little hooks or doors on them, which is where the wire is threaded. If brackets are the stars, wires are the directors in this metaphor. These thin metal strips run from one bracket to another and are shaped by your orthodontist in order to move your teeth in the right direction. It's specifically the pressure from the wire that guides your teeth in the right direction. If you have two teeth that are going in different directions, a slight bend in the wire between those teeth could get them aligned over time. But what would a fabulous production of braces be without proper set design? That's where elastics come in. These cute rubbery circles help create the perfect environment for your future smile which in this case means proper jaw alignment. If you have an overbite, they pull the upper jaw backwards. And if you have an underbite, they do the opposite. And now for the most humiliating part about braces, headgear. Some souls have been spared the embarrassment of wearing this contraption outside of the home. Some, unfortunately, are now comedians. Probably. The most common kind of headgear is the face bow variety because it basically turns your head into a makeshift archery bow. By attaching an elastic strap around your head to a horseshoe looking part in your mouth, the headgear is able to move the upper molars back to create more room for straightening or help correct bite alignment. Again, most of the time you only need to wear this at night. But then again, if your teeth are really bad, you might have to wear it all the time. The best part about braces is that they don't need to be worn forever. On average, teeth move about one millimeter per month. So depending on how much work your mouth needs, you'll probably be sporting some metal between six months to three years. During this time, you'll be checking in with your orthodontist who will be tweaking your situation to further the remodeling process. Also, you can get braces at any age. However, you see them more inside younger mouths because their younger bones are still developing and more receptive to remodeling. All this means is that your Aunt Judy will need to wear her adult braces a little longer to get the smile she wants. Now that we know how braces work, they're actually pretty impressive. And while they didn't have braces in the Middle Ages, they did have them in the 18th century, and we can bet those braces were probably extremely painful. We've come a long way in orthodontics since then, and that's definitely something to smile about.